I'm starting this week's vlog super late into the week. Um, today is right now, it is Wednesday and it is reading day. So for those of you who don't know during reading days, those are basically two days we get to do absolutely nothing and study for tests. And people at Penn love to complain about it. They always say, it's not enough, we need more. And while I do agree on that, also I have to say it's not super productive. Like. I began vlogging on Wednesday, which is our second and last reading day because I did absolutely nothing. I studied a bit and then my Japanese friends are leaving. One is Friday, the other is next Thursday. So I'm just like taking every moment I can to spend with them. But they just left my place. We just hung out for like six, seven hours. So now I really need to cram. But on another note, in pen nursing, we got Patagonias and they're super nice and fancy and we don't really get merch and I can't predict we're gonna get merch in the future so it's super exciting. Yeah, right now, I'm cramming for finance. Tomorrow's our anatomy final. It is going to be a very exciting and surreal day. I don't think anybody's prepared for the emotions that are gonna hit. But all in all, I'm just trying to keep my calm. I have been feeling myself get a little stressed even though I'm not that stressed, which doesn't make sense. It's like stressed about not being stressed and just finish strong. So yeah, you viewer are gonna keep me accountable that I actually start studying finance and don't end up goofing around for the next two hours before I meet Chantel for our last anatomy study session ever. I absolutely cannot believe it. I am so shook. This is the final I am the most worried about. I will be completely honest. And I think it's because it's the one that's most math heavy and <laughs> least logic based with those math tests. You can't just try and pick a multiple choice question and, and, and hope for the best, but you actually need to get it right. The way it works, we get three cheat sheets. Two of them are reused from our past midterms. And then this third one I'm making right now. And look at all my call put, call put straddle graphs. Um, I'm gonna just be honest and say that this stuff just blows over my head. Like, it has been very hard. And I have been watching a lot of Khan Academy and really struggling, but I really appreciate understanding whatever the heck assets and equity and all that stuff means now. So, you know, Lillian, I'm very proud of you. And I guess that's the whole point. So we get five practice finals. So I'm just running through all of them. Um, I have to admit, I really don't know what to do on a lot of them. So I will admit I was just driven to the, or no, okay. Studying finance is very frustrating because I think a lot of the times when you're doing problems, you, it's like reading another language. Like you look at the problem and you're like, I literally have no idea what you want me to do. So yeah, that's how I can describe it. So driven to the point of tears, trying to do that problem set. So I decided, you know what, like, let's take a break. Let's let the frustration die down. Let's study for anatomy. This moment, because this oh is God, it. The last this time. Is the last time. The last time. I swear, I'm gonna like start crying oh, no, tomorrow or something. Oh my God. Like, okay, no more. Oh, no more, no more. Okay. Last words, what do you have to say? Uh, it's, it's been a good one. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I, I can't say that. No, I, I don't know. Class. <laughs> no, I'm just ready for it to be over. Yes. I think it's, it's time. I feel like it's definitely time to learn something new. Oh, thank you. Yes. Okay, I'll let you know how it goes. Yay, okay. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Gym, gym, gym. 6.30. Yes. So, this is it. We are setting aside these textbook pages for the very last time. Yeah, we're calling it a day on this wild journey. Anatomy made up my 2019. I'm gonna take rest tomorrow morning's the test. And then after that test, it'll be a time of celebration and then it's on to finance. Good time, okay, good night, good night. This is it, got 11 minutes. Read through the packets one more time, and then take the test, and then it's over. We are done! Yay! Yeah. 
Dude, everyone is so happy. I don't think I'm as happy as I've ever seen people in a really long time. I know, we made it. Thanks to my friends at home for sustaining me as always. Happy Friday. So right now it is 10.30. It is a very exciting day today for reasons I will explain shortly. Basically, all through my vlogs, I have been really into Japanese this semester and I have been working really hard this semester to self-study to jump one class. So basically, it's been a lot of just reviewing on my own, memorizing vocab, doing uh, my workbook. So... In this semester, usually we finish about seven chapters of this and I had, and this ends at chapter 12 and this continues on to like chapter 28 or something. So I had a study from chapter seven to 14 on my own. And I've been putting so much time into this this whole semester, but it's been so much fun. And now I'm in the final steps. So I already did my diagnostic test and I have my interview with the director of our Japanese program in 30 minutes. And then if I pass that, I can officially enroll into the next section. So it's kind of scary, it's a little stressful, but I think I'm just very proud of myself for taking on the challenge and like seeing how far that I have come this semester. Just popped in this classroom for a half sec to say that I passed. And I'm like super excited. Oh my gosh, um, there was a writing part that I was totally not prepared for. Like when I walked in, it was like, oh, 15 minutes, like write a short essay. But yay, I'm so happy. I feel like I like, I've been working all semester really hard just to try and like have a shot into jumping to the more advanced levels because that also has to do with me wanting to go to Japan this summer. But yay, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I realize with myself, like, I really love to learn languages because there's no limit to what you learn. And, like, with languages, when you're in the beginning stages, definitely there's just so many resources to look into. So I've just been having a blast this semester learning Japanese, and I can't wait to tell all my Japanese friends. And, yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, I think I'm recording. Is this recording? Yes, good job. Hi, this is um, Chris Soft's Christmas party. Lily is making these... Um, Sesame bread balls. It's me, Daniel, your host for today. Oh my God. Justin. Fish town. Wait, you I wonder where everyone is. Here's Josh. He goes to GCC. He's irrelevant. Here's Chris. That's so mean. Julie, I'm just kidding. I, I love you. I love you, dude. God loves you. Oh my God. Alright, let's go. Everybody's Matt. It's Casey. Oh, we're going somewhere. Whatever you touch first, you take. No feeling. Yeah, whatever you touch first. Thanks, Isaac. No, it's nice. It's really cute. I like it. Okay, that was my number. Yeah. Oh. 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 The paper. A so. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Tabletop stick 2.5 times 6. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay, okay. <laughs> No, okay. 
open. Open it, open it. You have to oh, come to my house, okay? <laughs> In California. Absolutely. Okay. And I will make sure to go to yours. <laughs> yeah. In Japan. That is our promise. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I can introduce Liar Japan. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> 